That's close enough. Kill the lights and radio comlinks. Pure stealth from here on in. It's been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Don't move a muscle. What the? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound, Colonel Campbell. I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You'll take these orders. About five hours ago, an island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago called Shadow Moses Island was occupied by Next Generation Special Forces. The island is a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. They presented Washington with a single demand. And if it isn't met, they'll launch nuclear ordnance. They gave us 24 hours to comply. Who's she? Dr. Naomi Hunter, the unit's chief medic, and an expert in gene therapy. Huh. So what exactly are the terrorists demanding? A corpse, or to be more specific, cell specimens which contain the individual's genetic information. Why would they want that? Gene therapy, to significantly enhance their next generation special forces. The military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. We can then splice those genes into regular soldiers. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's useful to study the genetic information of the man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean... Big Boss. That's right. So far we've discovered about 60 soldier genes. His genetic information is a priceless gift to mankind. Snake, we can't hand over his body. It's more strategically important than any weapon of mass destruction. Who are these terrorists? Six members of Foxhound are involved, and they're plenty tough. Psycho Mantis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Yes, and we believe you're the only person who can stand against him. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because as former squad commander, there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that the only reason? I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. My niece, Meryl. Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt, and she was called in as an emergency replacement. We'll approach within a few miles of the island by sub. Any closer and they'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Same as a torpedo, only this has no propulsion device of its own. Once on Shadow Moses Island, you have two objectives. First, infiltrate the facility and rescue the two hostages, DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and Kenneth Baker, president of Arms Tech. Secondly, investigate whether the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. After that, you'll have to swim. In sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. And that shot I gave you? It contains an anti-freezing peptide so your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze. It also contains nootropics to improve your mental functioning and nanomachines to replenish adrenaline, nutrition, and sugars. Stay in contact with us with your codec. The receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Oh, and one more thing. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. That's him. Liquid Snake. 
Other than a difference in skin tone, he could be my twin. Background murky, but one thing's for sure. He's the enemy. The solid versus the liquid. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take it to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. Hmm. Not many guards here. This should be easy. And the elevator's back. Time to make my move. soldiers in this exercise are using the anti-freezing peptide. By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Ah, uh, indeed. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow. He must be crazy to fly a hind in that kind of weather. Who's that? Sorry. That's Mei Ling. She designed your codec as well as your Soliton radar system. Use the Soliton to avoid the guards, but be careful. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. If you want to get in, avoid the front door. There's too much risk of being spotted. What about the air duct? One sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with 556ers and pineapples. I'll let you decide the best course of action. I'm counting on you, Snake. Looks clear. Remember, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. How could I forget? Just found chaff, a SOCOM, and an M9. Looks like a storeroom over there. I'm gonna check it out. A surveillance camera. Gonna have to stay low. Okay, Colonel. I got some more pineapples. I'm fairly well stocked for the time being. Better to let sleeping guards lie. I'll head for the upper vent. Colonel, I made it to the landing, but it's hot. sure to stash the body snake. We don't want the terrorists tipped off that you're in the area. Done. The way to the upper vent's clear now. I'm going in. I moved the DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement. Thanks for the info, boys. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. And keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Why, did something happen? There's an intruder. An intruder? Where? He's already done three people, and they say he's using stealth, too. I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. What? 
Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Colonel, it sounds like things just got a lot more complicated. Colonel, I've reached the tank hangar and got solid intel on the whereabouts of a hostage. The DARPA chief's being held in the first floor basement. Good work. There should be a cargo elevator there you can use to get to him. Affirmative. I've got a visual on that. Just grabbing a few more supplies. Colonel, I found some thermal goggles in a storeroom. Should help a lot. Ceasing codec communications for the moment. First floor basement. Here I come. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. Got it, but the door's locked. You've got to find some way to get in there, Snake. Hurry up and get him out. Don't worry, Colonel. I'll get him. A woman? That must be the one I overheard the guards talking about. Could that be the Colonel's niece? Meryl. First things first. I've got to get to the DARPA chief, now. Who... who are you? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? Then hurry up and get me out of here. First, I want some information about the terrorists. They're threatening a nuclear strike. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. They could launch a nuke. But... This installation is for storing dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's just a cover story. We were actually conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historic weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a preemptive nuclear strike from any place on Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. Metal Gear is our most classified black project. How did you know? We've had run-ins in the past. But I thought the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. But now, the terrorists have Rex. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The new prototype's code name. It's probably already been armed with a warhead. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? What about anti-launch safety measures? Some kind of detonation code? You mean PAL. You need to input two different passwords to launch. Baker, the president of Arms Tech, knows one. And I know the other. The other hostage. That's right. But they found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis, one of the Foxhound members has psychic powers. He can read people's minds. You can't resist. Mm, this is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. But there is another way to stop the launch. What? Card keys. You'll need all three of them. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the keys and engage the safety lock. Okay, three card keys. So where are they? Baker should have them. I heard the guards say they moved him to the second floor basement. They said they cemented over the entrances, though. That's not gonna stop me. Wait. Take this. It's my PAN card. It'll open any level one security door. Okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. One more thing. You haven't heard of any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. Does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? What's going on? Huh. Dead. Hey, what's happening? Chief, 
It looked like a heart attack. A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. But this op is level red. You'd need the highest security clearance to learn the whole story. I'm supposed to believe that you're in charge of this op, but don't have complete access to the file? The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out there and find President Baker. Uh, what the hell? Mm. Guards down. Don't move! So you killed the Chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Is this the first time you've ever pointed a gun at someone? Your hands are shaking. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. You haven't even taken the safety off. But you're not one of them, are you? Just open that door so we can get the hell out of here. You've got a card, right? Looks like we'll be a little delayed. Hope you're ready for this, rookie. Thanks for the help. Wait, who are you? You fool, you've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have an idea. It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis. So that was Mantis. I'm on my way to the second floor basement to get Baker. Go through the armory, Snake. You can stock up even more there. Soliton radar shows Baker that way. This must be one of those cemented over doorways Anderson mentioned. Nothing a little C4 won't take care of. Baker, but am I too late? <coughs> You're the arms tech president, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, don't touch it. C4. He's right. Touch that wire and the C4 blows everyone sky high. So you're the one the boss keeps talking about. And you. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Your mission ends here. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! Please, careful! I love to reload during battle. What? A steam pipe? Ah! Oh, damn you! That hurts! This has been amusing, but the time for dallying is over. Time for you to die! Big words, but I'm still standing. Please, for God's sake! 
You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from a man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up! Ah! Ah! My arm! What? What's going on? Invisible enemy, slicing the whole place up. Who? Ah, help me! Column falling! Ah! Show yourself, damn it! What in the hell? Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You are lucky, Snake. We will meet again. Hey, you, stop right there. Are you with the terrorists or against them? Who are you? I'm like you. I have no name. That... that exoskeleton! What's going on? I am tortured. Only battle will cleanse me. Just take it easy. I have no reason to fight you. Huh? Where'd he go? Too slow. Your weapons bring you no honor. The pain. It makes me feel so alive. Whoa, that was too close. Sorry, but I don't die that easy. You must not be one of them, so I suggest you stay out of my way. Have it your way, then. Say goodbye. Wait! You move so fast. And apparently doesn't want to stay in chat. Damn it. Baker. Baker, can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? I... I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes. They can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? Why not? Surgical implants in my brain. Everyone who knows the codes has them. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But Anderson said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. So how did they get your code? <coughs> I never had any training on <coughs> how to resist torture. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Do you still have the card keys to override the detonation code? No, not anymore. I gave that female soldier the key. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. Tell me, if the keys don't work, is there any other way to prevent a missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich. He's the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. He's probably being held in the nuclear warhead storage building. There's one thing I still don't understand. Why revive the Metal Gear project at all? Because we live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. You see, complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. That's insane. This is what you came for, right? The optical disc. It's all here. 
The only remaining copy of the data collected from the Metal Gear Rex exercise. I don't know what you're... I know you were sent to get this. Make sure you report this to Jim, your boss. Look, I get my orders from Colonel Campbell, and... Listen, you've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. Why? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... <coughs> Those Pentagon bastards went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they're just using you for... <laughs> Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea what could have happened. Don't lie to me! It looked like another heart attack, but we won't be able to tell without an autopsy. Snake. I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Do you read me? You're the Colonel's niece, Meryl, right? And who are you? Some people call me Solid Snake. The legendary Solid Snake? I'm sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the bad guys. What is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, nobody told you anything, did they? This place isn't really for disposing nukes. It's owned and operated by an arms tech dummy corporation. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. This was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the program. Hmm, sounds kind of fishy. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear, Dr. Emmerich? Yeah. He should be in the research lab of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Got it. If we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself? It wouldn't be the first time. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive and stay the hell out of my way. You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl and open the cargo door in the tank hangar to ease your way. Good. We'll link up after I grab Emmerich. Hang on to the detonation override key until then. Patience, little one. I know your hunger is great. Soon, very soon, you will be sated. Ah. See, our enemy approaches, even now. Come, little one. Time is short. The boss says he is a formidable fighter, but he has yet to face the likes of me! Okay, cargo doors open. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't worry, I'm still disguised in an enemy uniform. Be careful. It's equipped with infrared sensors. If an intruder is detected, gas is released. We'll meet at the storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put. I changed my mind. Go north from there. I'll go ahead and wait for you. Meryl, don't do anything stupid. What the? A non-burst transmission. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Make sure to use a mine detector, or your mission will end quickly. Who are you? One of your... fans. Just call me... Deep Throat. He's gone. Whoever he was. Good intel, though. This place is littered with claymores. Ah! 
This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. <laughs> That's right. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. You keep him off guard with the machine gun, but leave the killing to me. That's it, Snake. Closer. Got you. <laughs> Finally! The mighty solid snake is finished! Shall I destroy him? No, let him go. But keep an eye on him. I don't want him out of contact range. Very well. You have proven yourself a worthy adversary, Snake. I look forward to our next encounter. PST-1 sniper rifle and an Akita launcher. Now this is what I call quality OSP weaponry. Nice. I just hope you remember how to operate the remote-controlled mini recon missiles for that Nikita. OSP weapons aren't much good if you can't use the ammo. Master Miller, is that you? It's been a long time, Snake. What are you doing here, sir? I was in retirement from my position as Foxhound Drill Instructor, but Campbell told me you could use a hand. I'm at your disposal. Sir, you know there's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. We'll catch up later. Right now, you need to head toward the second basement level. Emmerich should be there. Proceed with utmost caution. Liquid has to be aware of your position by now. Is this wise, letting Snake go free like this? Why not? We can afford to play with him a while longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. I never underestimate anyone. What is your assessment of him? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat exactly like you. I would expect no less considering your relationship. You see? I told you so! But it doesn't matter. In the end, I will kill him. And how will you accomplish this, General Ivan? Not only did he take your arm, but he took your dignity as well. Watch your tongue, Shaman. That damn ninja took my arm, but it was Snake who distracted me. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means Snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. I fear nothing, especially Solid Snake, 
And next we meet, I'll take special care of him. No, don't kill him yet. I still have plans for him. Regardless, his fate is sealed. He and I will meet again in hmm. battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Snake, don't move. <clears throat> Deep throat. <clears throat> the room is filled with gas. I don't have time to... Snake, whatever you do, do not take another step. The floor in front of you is electrified. So how do I... <clears throat> First, you have to destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard behind the wall in the adjacent offices. Since you can't reach it, you'll have to use a remote controlled missile. The Nikita. <coughs> Gas penetrating the mask. Only time for one shot. Controlling it remotely. Got it. Snake, are you through the gas? Affirmative. How the hell did you know about the electrified floor and where my position is? Sorry. I'm afraid we're on a need to know basis. And you don't need to know. Be cautious. It's not over yet. Why are so many of us assigned to guard this nerdy lab rat anyway? Emmerich? Boss says he's real important. High priority asset. He's... Did you see that? What? What is it? Nothing. I just thought I saw... I saw... Oh, oh my god! Shoot anything that moves! Yes! Where is he? What? Who the hell is this guy? Who cares? Open fire! Open fire! What the hell is going on in there? Stop him! For God's sake, somebody stop him! That weapon robs you of honor. Stay away from me! The penalty is death. I'll gut you, you son of a... Oh, my... He's just toying with them. It's, it's a... a ghost! A ghost? Yes. Perhaps I am a ghost. Who can truly say? Hey, you! What are you doing in here? Whoever he is, he's after Amarek. Which means I'll have to stop him. Assuming that's even possible. Somebody, please help! No! Where's my friend? What? Tell me where he is now, or suffer the same fate as those fools. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Please don't kill me. Don't move. Drop the sword and back away from the nerd, slowly. Snake. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. Just who the hell are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I've returned from a world where such terms are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. The path is clear to me now. You and I must fight to the death. Yeah. Pathetic. There is no honor in that weapon. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now, 
I want to savor the moment. What's with these guys? It's like a scene out of one of my anime movies. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it? Revenge? It's nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. Either way, it makes no difference. <laughs> Alright then. Watch the show from your litter box. This won't take long. I need that man unharmed. Stand down, or this is gonna get ugly. Make me feel alive again. Yes, that's the spirit. Make me feel it. <laughs> that weapon is useless against me. Haven't you learned anything? Apparently not. Yes, now we fight his warriors. Hand to hand, the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Whatever. Yes, the pain. I've been waiting for this pain. Hurt me more. More, more. I know that move, Snake. Do you remember? The feel of battle? Do you, Snake? Do you remember? No. It can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar land. <sighs> killed? Zanzibar land? I... I don't... I... Not again. I am losing myself. My God, Gray Fox. Is it over? Am I still alive? Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox, no doubt about it. That's ridiculous, Snake. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar land. No. No, he should have died, but he didn't. What? It all happened before I joined the Foxhound medical staff. Back then, they were using Zanzibar land war casualties for high-risk gene therapy trials. I've never heard of anything like that. Sorry, Colonel. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, she spearheaded the project. Are you saying that Gray Fox was one of the casualties they experimented on? Impossible. He was killed in action. I was there. Yes, but they somehow revived him. For four long years, they kept Gray Fox's ravaged body in a drugged stupor so he could be fitted with a prototype exoskeleton and experimented on like a lab rat. He was administered the full range of gene therapies, which produced startling results. As a matter of fact, today's genome soldiers were born out of this groundbreaking research. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. And it's inexcusable that I wasn't notified of this sooner. I'm sorry, sir. It was classified research. I had no choice. Something tells me there's more to it than that. I... I'm afraid I can't say anything further. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is why? Why is he here? Who does he work for? From what I could tell, he didn't even know who he was. So is he an amnesiac, or is he just insane? I'm not sure. Maybe both. One thing I am sure of, he seems really intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. No! 
can't feel anymore. I, I am, who, who am I? Hey, Fox. What? Yes, I am Gray Fox. No, you are not him. Gray Fox is dead. You are just a killing machine. An evil experiment gone horribly awry. No. No, I am Gray Fox. I am Frank Yeager. Yeager, I am Frank Yeager. Shh. Stop it now. That's enough. You're nothing but a cold-blooded murderer who was given a second chance. You were lucky, but your sister, she never got a second chance, did she? She had family too, remember? And you just had to take it all away. You don't deserve a name. You're just a broken egg in a new shell. A dead man with a dead past. Nameless here forever. Your life, your very humanity. Quote the raven, nevermore. No. No! <laughs> Just how long do you plan to stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? Are you here to rescue me? Sorry, no. I need information about Metal Gear. I need to know what it's designed for. Metal Gear? Well, it's a mobile TMD. Its function is to shoot down nuclear missiles, but only for defensive purposes, of course. Yeah, right. Metal Gear is a pacifist wet dream. Look, kid, drop the arms tech toady corporate spin. That vehicle is all about a preemptive nuclear strike, pure and simple. What are you talking about? Terrorists <laughs> are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile, and you're playing dumb? Are you that naive? No! A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armaments were built by a separate department, and Mr. Baker personally supervised the final assembly of the primary unit. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base, north of the communications tower. You'd better hurry. They haven't called me in a while. Which must mean they're almost ready. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. I'll link up with her. Uh, so what do I do? Stay hidden and keep me informed. Since we're stuck on an island, that's the best we can do at this point. Okay. And call me Otacon on your codec, just in case the terrorists are eavesdropping. Otacon stands for Otaku Convention, and Otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Ah, uh, right. Just try to keep the bullets out of that big brain of yours. I may need it later. Snake, are you there? Meryl, where are you? I'm in the ladies' room on basement level one. My disguise was attracting too much attention, and I needed to duck out of sight for a while. Hang tight. I'll rendezvous with you shortly. Don't worry about me. I have the same stealth technology as that ninja. It was originally supposed to be used for foxhound troops, but I can use it to sneak around. Fine. Just don't do anything stupid and get yourself killed. I'll be in touch. Emmerich has been compromised, but it does not matter. His usefulness has come to an end anyway. Let Solid Snake waste precious time babysitting him. Mantis, what have you gleaned from that cyborg ninja? Who sent him? Difficult to say. He is well shielded from my probes. 
Perhaps he'll reveal more if I augment the synaptic impulses that fuel his delusions. Forget him. That lunatic means little to me. It's that fool solid snake I want dealt with. Subdue him and get the codes. Reduce him to a quivering mass of flesh if you have to. But don't kill him. Not yet. Oh, I assure you, I can come up with a far more delicious palate of torments for Snake. I'll peel his mind apart like an onion, layer by layer, until there is nothing left. Why the dour expression? Are you about to have another one of your boring outbursts of professional jealousy? I don't trust him, and you shouldn't either. <laughs> you ex-Soviet operatives, so distrustful of one another. Anyway, I wouldn't need to use him at all if you hadn't failed so spectacularly with the DARPA chief. You don't know Mantis's background. You don't know what kind of monster he is. And I don't care, just so long as he is a monster. Close. Please. Turn around very slowly. Meryl. Ha! That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Hmm. I had no idea you were so feminine. Knock it off, Snake. This is no time to be hitting on me. And even so, it would be a waste of time. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Well, at least that's one thing you like about me, huh? No, you've got a great ass, too. You're all class, Snake. No wonder you're such a loner. You get the override keys from Baker. You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Damn it! If we don't find the other two, I'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. That could prove to be problematic. I'm going with you. No way. You'll just slow me down. I know this place a hell of a lot better than you do. Now come on! We need to go through the commander's room and head toward the... Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Meryl, what's wrong? I... I... It's just a headache. I'm fine. It's just a headache. I'm fine. Let's go. Let's go. Mm, women. Hello, my darling. Are you hungry? Mm? Someone's fed you already. I know you are here. I can hear you breathing. Show yourself, now. Don't shoot! You're the captive scientist, Emric. What are you doing here? I, uh, your dogs. They looked hungry. I thought I'd give them some of my spare rations. How generous. Then you should know that it pains me to have to kill you. No! Please! Yes, it pains me greatly. Wolf, respond. Liquid? Damn, lost him. Bloody stealth technology. I'm here, Liquid. What is it? Forget those mongrels of yours and rendezvous to my position. I have a task for you. Liquid, I need to tell you something. That prisoner, the scientist called Emric. Yes, what of him? Nothing. Never mind. I'll join you in two minutes. So, how do we bypass the commander's room? There's no other exit that I can see. Meryl? Hello? Anybody home? Snake, don't you like me? Um... Sure, I like you, Meryl. What, what do you mean? 
It's just that, well, I'm not so sure how you really feel about me. Huh? It's just so hard to figure you out, Snake. I mean, you do like girls, don't you? Meryl, what the hell is going on here? Don't you miss the touch of a woman? Hmm? I know it's been a very long time for you. I'd like to show you what you've been missing. And I'd like to show you right now. Stop it, Meryl. This isn't the time. And when would be a good time, Snake? Pathetic fool. I make an obvious pass at you and you reject me? Just what kind of man are you? Meryl, put the gun down. No! You're not a real man. You're just a sad little boy. It's quite pitiful, really. I should just put you out of your misery. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry, Meryl. I don't know what's gotten into you, but... Useless wench! Are you responsible? For her aberrant behavior? Of course I am, you gullible dolt! I am Psychomantis! I am beyond your feeble intellect. You cannot hope to survive me! Yeah, yeah, same old spiel. I've heard this hackney crap before and I'm still kicking. Not this time, Snake! You have no idea who you're dealing with! I will obliterate your mind! I will flay the skin from your... Need a hand? Master Miller? How'd you get in here? Not easily. The Colonel felt strongly that you could use some backup. Looks like he was right. Snake, you all right? I'm sorry, sir. Just a little dizzy. And the girl? Out cold. She'll be fine. Snake, we're out of time. Negotiations have broken down, and Liquid is about to launch. Fortunately, we managed to isolate Metal Gear Rex's position in this facility. My mission is to ensure you get there. What about Meryl? I'm sorry. We'll have to leave her. It may already be too late for all of us anyway. We have to go, Snake. Metal Gear's maintenance hold is down this way. Strange. I'm positive that door wasn't there before. Snake, snap out of it. Hmm, something doesn't feel right. Well, get your head on straight. I can't do this alone. So, the mighty Solid Snake is befuddled. Pathetic. Perhaps battle will clear your head. And I am more than happy to oblige. <laughs> It is futile! You cannot win! Gray Fox? Who? That cyborg is Gray Fox, sir. It's a long story. Honestly, I'm not even sure I understand it all myself. Interloper! You will pay for your meddling! Snake, get out of here. I'll try to keep Raven busy. Gray Fox! I... Please, take care of my sister. Metal Gear should be just beyond this door. Rex. Snake, come on. The control room is over here. With the PAL codes, we can override the launch procedure. I thought PAL was only used for launching. It can be used for disarming, too. The brass briefed you on all this, didn't they? Yeah. So, they must have given you the PAL codes. What are they? I don't know. Didn't they give them to you? Stop playing around, Snake. We don't have time for this. Sir, I don't have the codes. Please step away from the console. Slowly. Snake! Meryl! Move away now, or the girl dies. Now, now, Ocelot. No need for the dramatics. We're all friends here, aren't we? 
And as friends are generous to one another, I'm certain they'll kindly give us the PAL codes without much ado. Please, think this through before doing something irrevocably stupid. Snake, I'm not sure we have much of a choice here. If you give Liquid and Ocelot the codes, we'll have a better opening once they release Meryl. No. What are you doing, Snake? Oh, pity. You really should listen to your friend. Ocelot. Two hands. I'm not here. This isn't happening. Snake, stop! Damn you to hell! How did you see through it? How did you see through my psychic dissimulation? It was flawless! Too many discrepancies. Too implausible. No, your little illusion was far from perfect. <laughs> it does not matter. I've only begun to reveal the full spectrum of my abilities. You are all mere puppets in my play. Take her, for instance. Meryl, bastard. Leave her alone. And how is any of this my fault? You're the one that's failed her. Just like you've consistently failed everyone else in your misbegotten life. Farewell to yet another loved one, Snake. Snake, I... No! No! Snake. My God, Meryl. Missed, but just barely. She is strong. She fights my influence with all her will. But it will not be enough. Come, Meryl. You know how the saying goes. If at first you don't succeed... Snake, I can't stop myself. I... Try. No! Try! Uh, please! Uh, uh. Okay, that's it. No more sadistic games. Let's finish this. Just you and me. Very well. But it will take more than stun grenades to stop me. Let's try a little telekinesis, shall we? <laughs> Your reflexes are fast, but my mind is faster! Much faster! Pain, misery, suffering. That's all life is. Nothing more. Can you feel the hate? The revulsion for humanity and all the futility it represents. It burns within me! <laughs> yes, you feel it now, don't you? The flames flickering. Your flesh smoldering. Blistering, bubbling, crisping, crackling, sloughing off. Every nerve in your body screaming, begging, pleading for relief. Cute parlor tricks. You play Vegas too? I see. Only a mind numb to the horrors of war could weather my mental onslaught. Only a cold-blooded killer could embrace it all so easily. See the blood on your hands? Killer! What? What unspeakable atrocities have you been party to throughout your merciless career? No! Was it all worth it? All the pain and suffering you caused? All the dead left 
in your murderous wake. How can you possibly bear it all? If you have to ask that question, then you don't know me at all. <laughs> no! I thought you could see the future. But I wasn't able to read my... A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> perhaps... perhaps so. Oh my god. But I denied myself the foresight into my own fate. So in a way, I must have permitted this to happen. You're saying you wanted to die? Perhaps. <coughs> Perhaps I desired it on a subconscious level. I see the confusion in your eyes. You would understand it if you knew my history. My life has been nothing but horror since the day I was born. The horrors I've endured. The horrors I've witnessed. The horrors I've caused. It's just too much for one soul to endure. You know, we're not so different, you and I. I thank you for releasing me. It wasn't my intention. Nevertheless, it was necessary to access the path to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You'll have to go through that hidden door behind the bookcase. I will open it. I can't remember the last time I used my abilities to help someone. It's strange. Such a nostalgic feeling. This situation has become untenable, Liquid. We can no longer wait for Mantis. We must pursue another means of launching. You really must learn patience, Ocelot. I'd hoped your miserable failure interrogating the DARPA chief would have taught you that. Mantis will scoop the PAL codes out of Snake Skull like the innards of a pumpkin. We will have what we need soon enough. No, we must pursue an alternate course of action. Mantis is dead. It may have been Fox Die, but I can't be sure. Solid Snake. Damn him! Very well. Inform Wolf that her mission is a go. I want him taken down. And if she fails to... Snake has gotten this far only because I allowed him to. He will not escape. Not this time. You're lucky you're such a bad shot, Meryl. It's just a scratch. We should get moving. Snake, I'm so sorry. Why? What do you mean? How could I let Mantis control me like that? Never doubt yourself. Let it make you stronger. Learn from it. What about you? Are you- I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Did you hear that? Sounded like wolves. Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. I'll take point. Follow me. Down this hallway. Meryl, wait! Come on, Snake. We're losing time. Stop! Don't move, Meryl. Keep perfectly still. What? Oh, no. Meryl! Oh! Uh, uh, Snake! Shh, Meryl. Save your strength. Damn it! Looks like a lone sniper. Usually there'd be two of them to pin us down in a crossfire. I guess you should have let me shoot myself after all. Would have saved you a lot of trouble. <laughs> My gun. I think I can reach it. <laughs> Meryl, don't move! I promised I wouldn't slow you down. I was a fool. Leave me, Snake. 
I'll just get us both killed. Meryl, stop. I will get you out of this. Snake, the sniper is trying to use Meryl to lure you out. Don't do it. Yeah, I kind of figured that out for myself. It has to be Foxhound's top sharpshooter, Sniper Wolf. I know her. She always works alone. She can lay in wait for days, even weeks. It doesn't matter to her. You'll have to act quickly. Sniper Wolf has to be on the second floor of the communications tower. Classic sniper positioning. Hang tight, Meryl. I'm taking that bitch out. Bastard! Ah, damn it! What is he doing? Running straight at me? Is he suicidal? Crazy or not, I have you now. Flash grenade! I can't see! I'm not gonna make it. She'll nail me before I can reach the tower. No more tricks, prey. This hunt is over. Ah! She'll owe you a hell of a lot more. You bitch! Thanks, Meryl. He's at the base of the tower. I don't have a shot. Green light, go, go! Freeze, drop your weapon! Good, now lay down with your hands behind your head. Do it now! Stop! Trust me, I won't miss at this range. You are a fool to come here. Who dies first, you or that bitch who spoiled my hunt? I'll die after I kill you. Is that so? For myself, I always kill my prey. And until that happens, you're all I think about. <laughs> Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Take him to Liquid. <clears throat> Liquid. Liquid! I think he's awake. He's more resilient than I thought. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? You're fortunate to be alive. Until you came along, Sniper Wolf had never failed to terminate her quarry. You've come far indeed. Revolver Ocelot, Vulcan Raven, Psycho Mantis. You've defeated them all. Stupid ninja beat me, not him. Really, it's quite an impressive resume. However, I do find it extremely aggravating to have my associates continually underestimate you. But rest assured, I won't make that mistake. How could I? I know you as well as I know myself. It was inevitable that we'd meet one day. And now that we have, it's certainly a revelation. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think? Brother! What should I call you anyway? Little brother? Big brother? Twin brother? I suppose it really doesn't matter. What is paramount is that you and I are the last surviving sons of Big Boss. We share the... Yes, what is it? Really? Then what? Those fools! Very well, Raven. I'll be right there. Washington isn't responding to our demands. They're trying to avoid any leaks about Metal Gear and their precious new nuclear weapon. Predictable. Always putting politics ahead of innocent lives. So be it. We launch in ten hours as planned. I have to make preparations. Solid Snake is all yours, Ocelot. Don't forget to get a sample of his DNA. We'll need it to correct the Genome Army mutation.
I thought we needed Big Boss's DNA to cure that. Yes, but Snake's DNA will function as a temporary stopgap measure. Oh, and Ocelot. Don't screw up with him like you did with the DARPA chief. Patience, right? <laughs> exactly. Your woman is still alive. Meryl. I gave her the gift of mercy. I did it for you. Until we next meet, my handsome prey. Hmm. She always falls for her most challenging marks. You should be flattered. Flattered isn't the word I'd use. So, Metal Gear was actually designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead. Why don't you ask Campbell? The Colonel? Never mind. I'll ask the questions, carrier boy. The car key you had in your possession. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that damn key? Trick? That weasel baker said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. What happened to Meryl? Like Wolf said, she's still alive. But it's up to you if you want her to stay that way. We're going to play a game, Solid Snake, and we'll soon find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just beg for mercy, and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. As long as it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know it was the French who first began using electric shocks as a means of torture? Uh, the old French fry, right? Look, why don't you cram the supervillain right or I can just get on with it? Cute. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I have some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. The Geneva Convention doesn't apply here. No one's coming to save you. Scared now, tough guy? You should be. Let's get started, shall we? How was that? Just a little jolt to wake you up. Don't worry. We'll get to the meat of the interrogation soon enough. But first, I think you could use a little tenderizing. Again. Had enough? I certainly hope not. We've got a long way to go. Again. Ouch. Oh, that one looked particularly painful. Snake, are you still with me? Yeah, you're dead. I promise. Oh, much better. I like spirit in my subjects. Again! Don't you dare turn away, you feckless cow. No! Quiet! Look at the monitor. I want you to see this. Your little boyfriend is finished. Ocelot will torture him beyond the limits of human endurance. Slowly and painfully, and it's all thanks to you. No. Oh, yes. You know very well that this is all your fault. I was there, remember? I saw your stupidity firsthand. Your reckless incompetence. You made it so easy for us, Meryl. Thank you. Shut up! Shut your filthy mouth! Ha! You are weak and pathetic. In my native Kurdistan, you would be... What? What are you looking at? Who? Oh, no. Liquid, this is Wolf. We have a problem. You've had it, Snake. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> it's okay. Just say mercy, and the pain will stop. Come on. I won't tell anybody. I promise. <sighs> you! 
No! You won't take my other arm! Stay the hell away from me! On your feet, soldier. Uh. Who? Gray Fox. Snake, I... Gone again. Oh well. At least my stuff is still here. Wolf, status. I'm en route to intercept Snake. I'll be there in three minutes. Belay that. Hold position at the underground base entrance and await my orders. I'll deal with Snake myself. Liquid out. Damn that man. How dare he interfere with my hunt? Wolf? Huh? Emric, what are you doing here? I thought you were taking care of the wolves. I am. I mean, I was taking care of them. But I... I was worried about you. No need. I work alone, remember? You shouldn't take so much diazepam. It's not good for you. Comes with the territory. Integral staple of a sniper's diet. So... Are you going to kill Snake? He is my prey. But why? Why do you have to? Enough! I like you. I like you very much. But I do not have to explain myself to you. I... okay. Here. This handkerchief belonged to my mother. She died when I was very young. Hold on to it for me. In case anything should happen. Don't! I don't want to hear it. Just be careful. That's all I ask. Farewell. Snake, how are you doing? Well, for a guy who just got electrocuted over a dozen times, peachy. So, Colonel, when exactly were you planning on telling me about the new nuclear weapon Metal Gear was supposed to launch? Um, uh, well, um... I mean, seeing as how I'm risking my life here, I think you owe me a few straightforward answers. Look, Snake, this is obviously a complicated situation. Snake, it's Miller. I need to speak with you on a secure frequency immediately. Your lack of credibility is what makes this complicated, Colonel. Snake out. Snake, wait a sec. The line is secure, Master Miller. What's up? Listen, Snake. I've just heard some disturbing chatter originating from within our own intelligence community. You need to be extremely wary of your internal contacts from here on out. This includes Campbell, Naomi, even your own government. Yeah, I'm starting to figure that out for myself. The distortion of mission details is one thing, but I have good reason to believe the treachery goes much deeper. Deeper? What do you mean? I don't have specifics yet, but I'll get back to you as soon as I do. Watch your back. Miller out. Mei Leng. It's Snake. You there? We're all here, Snake. Listen. About the nuke. Drop it, Colonel. We'll discuss this at another time. However, considering Meryl's life is in my hands, I'll presume I can trust your core intel for the time being. I'm at the entrance to the communication tower, Mei Ling. Where to next? You need to take the elevator down to ground level. That should put you right by the entrance to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. Be careful, though. The tower should be heavily guarded. There he is! Fire at will! You're kidding! Mei Ling, I'm being pushed to the upper levels of the tower and I can't get to the elevator below. I need an alternate exit strategy. According to the base schematics, the only way out is through the roof access. Great. <sighs> okay, I'm on the tower roof. What's next? Find your way up here. Liquid. Sorry, brother. 
end of the road, I'm afraid. What do you mean by all this brother talk? Just who the hell are you? You really don't know, do you? You should talk to our father. He knows the truth. I'll send you to hell so you can ask him. Ha! What's wrong, little brother? No room to dance? A pistol? Please! I've shot down F-16s with this helicopter. You're just some guy running around on a roof. This is like a video game. A video game I can't lose! Enough of this running and hiding. I've got to get off of this roof. Okay, okay. This has been mildly entertaining, Snake, but I have more urgent obligations that require my attention. Let's put an end to your nonsense once and for all, shall we? No! It's not possible! Damn! Can't maintain altitude! Parachuted out just in time. What a damn shame. So, Snake bested you too. Strange. I thought you were incapable of underestimating your brother. Gloat all you like. Just know that I will achieve my objectives regardless of whether Snake lives or dies. Does that include Fox Die? We're running out of time. Leave Fox Die to me. Where is Snake now? He's rappelling down the tower toward our position. Good. I'm heading underground to complete the final preparations of Metal Gear. Can I depend on you to finish this? Of course I can. How foolish of me. Once you've killed him, join us below. This hunt ends today. Snake, it's Campbell. What the hell just happened? A noisy fly was bothering me, so I took some time out to swat it. I see a snowfield at the base of the tower. Mei Ling, what's the story? You're right on target, Snake. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base entrance is at the end of the snowfield. It looks pretty quiet down there. I don't see any imminent threat. Oh, oh no. Snake, are you there? Otacon, this is not a good time. When is it ever a good time? Snake, Sniper Wolf is in the area. I believe she's going to ambush you. Kid, where the hell were you ten seconds ago? I'm already taking fire from that crazy bitch. I'm on my way. I have to stop this. No, Otacon, do not. I repeat, do not enter the snowfield. I can't have Wolf bait me into the open again. Damn it, she's good. He'll be killed. The fool should never have come out here. He is... He is exactly what I need. The perfect lure for Snake. Just like that witless woman. It would be so easy to hobble him with a few surgically precise shots. Bleed him out slowly. Watch him plead desperately for his life. He will not survive this. <sighs> Damn it, kid. Get your ass down. Fool! Amateur! Stop hesitating and fire! Don't you understand? 
I loved her. I, I had no choice, kid. I'm sorry. There is no one to blame, Hal. Wolf, help me, Snake. We can still save her. No, it was a kill shot. And a good one, mercifully executed. This is where I will die. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. No, don't be. You showed me the face of compassion. A face I thought I would never see again. My heart had become stone these last few years. My only focus was the kill. I lost sight of the only target that matters. The only light left in my life. How? <sighs> She's gone. Damn it all to hell. Can't anyone find a way to bypass those PAL codes? Just what are you good for, Ocelot? I mean, other than running away like a little girl? Hmm. Insult me if you wish, Liquid. But that will not get you any closer to launching Metal Gear. We'll have to use the override keys, then. How? Snake has one of them, and the other two are still missing. And Baco was the only one who knew how to make them work. What is it, Raven? Can't you see I'm busy? Wolf is dead. Soon Metal Gear itself will be in Snake's crosshairs. Great. That's just great. Metal Gear Rex can't launch, bloody fox die is hanging over our heads, and my annoying evil twin is wreaking havoc all over the base. Is there anything I've left out? Only that Snake's fool luck has finally run out. I will engage him in combat and emerge victorious! It is my destiny! Not this again. Don't worry, little girl. You'll be safe here. How dare you! Shut up, Ocelot. I've had my fill of failure this day, Raven. I will not fail. Unfortunately for you, my dear Raven, I believe in only one man's destiny. Mine. Snake still believes we have the PAL codes to launch, correct? Yes. So? Good. Then I still have one more hand to play. I'm going after Metal Gear. You'll have to take care of yourself from here on out. I understand. Don't worry, I'll be okay. Hack Baker's files to see if you can come up with anything regarding the override card keys. I'll need options soon. You got it. I'll be in touch. Hey, kid. Look, I'm... I'm sorry about Wolf. I know. Good luck. Come in. Come in. I've been expecting you. Welcome, Cossack. Our time is finally at hand. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> that was no real battle. I was merely testing to see what kind of man you were. And? You are worthy to engage me in true combat. Lucky me. Considering what's happened to your pals, are you sure you want to do this? That's good. I hear iron in your words. Now let us see if there is iron in your heart. Well met. Few have ever escaped my cannon. But be assured, I will see you dead before I fall to your damn fox die. Fox die? What the hell are you talking about? So, your government never told you. T 
typical. That's what you get for being a company man, Snake. Lies, betrayal, and expendability. Quite the rewarding career path. Look, are you trying to shoot me or bore me to death? Who or what is Fox Dive? <laughs> Almost had you there. Fox Die is a next generation retrovirus programmed to target and kill specific individuals. To facilitate this, a carrier is inserted among the target population, infecting and killing them all before finally succumbing to the virus himself. All that's required is a simple injection to prime the carrier, perhaps performed during a battery of pre mission medical tests. Any of this ring a bell, Snake? No. No! Lies! You're lying! Am I now? Fox Dye's symptoms simulate a massive heart attack followed by sudden death. Sound familiar? Remember Arms Tech President Baker? Did you think it was mere coincidence he inexplicably died shortly after meeting you? When Decoy Octopus died in the same fashion soon after, we knew something was terribly wrong. Decoy Octopus? Who? The man you thought was DARPA Chief Anderson was actually Decoy Octopus, Foxhound Master of Disguise. Liquid ordered him to assume Anderson's identity in order to trick the PAL code bypass out of you, but Fox Die killed him before he could extract anything. But why all the elaborate subterfuge? Why not just get the codes from the DARPA chief himself? Because that idiot Ocelot prematurely killed Anderson right after we took over the island. So, with the Chief dead, you became our priority. Octopus, Mantis, and Ocelot, they all failed miserably in trying to squeeze the codes out of you one way or another. I was beginning to think we were finished until Liquid found another way to launch. Your brother is quite formidable, you know. A true son of Big Boss. For a long time, I've waited to test your family's metal. Huh? What's this? You want metal? Adversary, but you are still nothing more than an ignorant bureaucratic part. <coughs> Always following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride, Snake. Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages. It was all just a diversion. From the very beginning, the Pentagon used you as a vector to spread Fox Die, to kill everyone on the island that could stand in their way. <sighs> so they could take the only thing they ever wanted in the first place. Metal Gear. Yes. All else is expendable. Including you. Oh. Oh. It, it is time. To meet my quorum. What's going on here? <gasps> Colonel, you scared me to death. I've just found out about Fox Die, Naomi. Why? Why did you do it? I'm. Not at liberty to say, Colonel. However, rest assured, I was sanctioned by a higher authority than you. It's more than that. This is personal, isn't it? 
I won't deny that Foxdie fulfills more than our initial objective of killing Foxhound Renegades. Solid Snake. You want him dead. I can see it in your eyes. Yes. I'll admit I felt that way once. Only now I'm... I'm not so sure. But why? What did Snake ever do to you? Do? That bastard ruined the only family I ever had. He destroyed my brother. Your brother? But I thought you had no relatives. No blood relatives. Or at least I don't think I have any left. I don't know. My background is confusing even to me. I was found in Zimbabwe in the early 80s. A dirty little orphan. I honestly don't remember what happened to my parents. I think I may have blocked it out of my memory. My brother always told me it's best not to dwell on tragic events I can't change. He was a young soldier when he found me near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. He was kind, but I could see in his eyes that he was haunted by something terrible. I never asked him, and he never told me. We survived that hell together, he and I. He protected me. My one connection. The only connection I have to my past. Eventually, he brought me to this land of freedom, America. Where my life began anew. I had family once again. Peace. Contentment. But it wasn't meant to last. He was called out of the country for a mission. His final campaign before retirement. Zanzibar land. I never saw him again. Zanzibar land? Your brother was a member of Foxhound? My brother was Frank Yeager, Colonel. Gray Fox and your precious solid snake took him away from me. My god, but Frank is... The ninja. And still alive. Yes, I know. If being a mindless killing machine is what you call living. For many years, I thought the ninja died in the same lab explosion that killed his creator, Dr. Clark. But it appears he survived after all. I just don't know if any part of that thing is Frank anymore. You know Snake is innocent, Naomi. You must give him the Fox Dye vaccine. Are you finished, Dr. Hunter? Yes, sir. Who are you? This is Secretary of Defense, Jim Hausman. I'm taking command of your operation, Colonel. I won't brook any interference with Operation Fox Dye, not even from you. You are hereby relieved of duty pending the mission's outcome. Was that necessary? Yes. There's far too much at stake now. The President is counting on you, Dr. Hunter. Snake, I just heard about Fox die. I'm sorry. Yeah, so my own government chewed me up and spit me out. Can't say I'm too surprised. I guess we're all doomed now. Relax, kid. It's called Fox Die, not Geek Die. Besides, as Metal Gear's chief engineer, they may want you around for the occasional oil change. At any rate, crying over it won't do anybody any good. There's far more at stake here than a few bloodthirsty bureaucrats. What's the word on Baker's override keys? Almost have it. I'm hacking his files right now. Doomsday device, kid. Thanks. I think. I see liquid and ocelot in the control room. I'm going in closer for a listen. Get back to me when you have something on those keys. Roger. 
Otacon out. I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch anytime. Excellent. Once our little demonstration is over, we'll offer Metal Gear prototypes to every rogue state and terrorist faction that can afford them. In the end, the President will be forced to give us everything we need. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. I'm also including the Fox Die vaccine in our demands. Fox Die. It killed Octopus and Baker. But there seems to be no rhyme or reason to when it actually strikes. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore that mask. Wolf wasn't stricken either, perhaps due to those drugs she took. So why are we unaffected? A bug in the virus's programming, perhaps? Hard to say. But Snake is still our canary in the coal mine. So long as he's alive, we should have time. Hunter created Fox Die, so she must have the cure. Hunter? So it was Naomi. They'll hand over the vaccine. We'll give them one hour to comply before we launch. The bad guys are gone, Otacon. So what do I do about the two other override keys? Well, you're not gonna believe this, but you already have them. Otacon, what the hell are you talking about? That card key you have is made of a shape memory alloy, a material that changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. The first key operates at room temperature, so start with that one. PAL code number one confirmed. Awaiting PAL code number two. Okay, that takes care of PAL code number one. How the hell do I freeze and heat the key for the other two codes? I don't know, but you gotta find a way, and soon. Never mind. Looks like Baker discreetly built the means into the control room's piping. Snake, it's Master Miller. If you're here to tell me about Naomi, Fox Die, and impending death, I already know. PAL code number two confirmed. Awaiting PAL code number three. Unfortunately, the good doctor's involvement just scratches the surface. Remember I told you the treachery goes much deeper? Deeper? Someone ordered her to infect me with fox dye? Campbell? No. Campbell's entirely out of the loop. You were set up by Secretary of Defense Jim Hausman. This whole operation is his ballgame. What? I'm afraid so. He'll stop at nothing to acquire the Metal Gear Rex prototype. But if someone like Hausman is involved, that means... This thing goes all the way to the top. That's right. Snake, we're out of options. If the US government can't have Metal Gear, they'll blow Shadow Moses off the face of the Earth. You have to override the launch. Now. Almost there. PAL code number three confirmed. PAL code entry complete. Detonation code activated. What? Launch preparations complete. No! Finally. Thank you, Snake. We really couldn't have activated the warhead without you. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master Miller, why? You see, Snake. We never actually had the PAL codes, and simply couldn't figure out how to launch the nuclear device. Thankfully, you came along and did it for us. Warning. Metal Gear launch sequence activated. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you see? With no launch to override, that key's only function is to input the detonation code. <laughs> oh, I thank you for being such a gullible pawn. Really, I do. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to trick me into activating the warhead? You didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? You're not Master Miller. Just who the hell are you? Greetings and farewell, brother! Liquid! This game is over, Snake! Bow down before the awesome might of Metal Gear Rex! Liquid! 
You son of a... Careful, Snake. That epithet applies to you as well. So, you killed Master Miller and stole his identity. I should blow your head off right now. Snake, for shame. I can't believe you'd point a weapon at your own brother. What does it matter? We're all dead anyway. Ah, you refer to Fox Die? Hmm, possibly. I'm not sure exactly how the Hunter Woman programmed the virus. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But not ordinary twins. We're linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. In the early 70s, a group of scientists were charged with creating the most powerful soldier who ever lived. But to do so, they needed a genetic master mold to work from. A foundation of perfection. A man whose military mind and combat abilities were unparalleled throughout the world. Big boss. Yes, but whereas you got all the old man's dominant genes, I was stuck with the flawed recessive ones. Everything was done at my expense so that you could become the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist at all is so they could create you. Can you comprehend what it's like to know that you're genetic garbage since the day you were born? But, strangely enough, I'm the one father chose. So, that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior! You killed our father with your own hands. You stole my chance for revenge. Now I'll finish the work that he began. I will surpass him. Kneel down and sacrifice yourself to this historic weapon. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Die! What? What the hell is going on? Why aren't you dead already? Snake. Get away! Gray Fox. A name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat, doesn't it? Your Deep Throat? But why did you... Hang on. This is a little heavy. <laughs> the whole Deep Throat thing is complicated. Mostly, I was aiding you simply to ensure that we would meet again in battle. I was crazed, confused, blindly obsessed with an irrational need for vengeance. But now, the fog has lifted. I know who I am once again. Well, it's damn good to have you back, Fox. You know, Snake, you really haven't aged well. from ghosts. 
And that's all I am now. Just a ghost, haunting myself for past sins. Do me a favor, Snake. Tell Naomi I love her. Fox, wait! Tell her... I'm sorry. Fox! Frank, no! Let's see how strong that exoskeleton of yours is! Never corner a box! Destroyed the Raidome! Now I have to operate Rex's weapon systems manually! Impressive! You are indeed worthy of the codename Fox, but now you're finished! Snake! Fire the Stinger! Can you do it, Snake? You'll kill him too, Fox! Snake! Do it now! Sleeping late as usual, eh, Snake? Just resting my eyes. So, looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Take a look behind you. Meryl, is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Let her go, Liquid. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die? Ha! <laughs> Fox Die is the least of your worries. Now that Metal Gear is destroyed, just what do you think the Patriots will do to cover up this debacle? Patriots? Who? <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> Oh, never mind. Sometimes I forget just how far out of the loop you really are. The point is, this facility will shortly be blown off the face of the Earth. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, we will never have existed. There's no way out, Snake. Let's finish this. You stole everything from me! Only your death can satisfy my soul! Say? Same smart mouth. Otacon, is there a way out of here? A way out? Well, yeah, you can take the loading tunnel to the surface. But what's the point? Isn't the U.S. military going to nuke this island to smithereens? Probably, but I didn't come this far just to give up. What about you? Are you out? Yeah, I made it out of the base safely. And don't worry, I opened the security doors, so you should have a clear shot out. There's a snowmobile outside, so we should be able to get to Fox Island. That is, assuming we're not already vaporized by then. We're on our way. Still hanging in there, Meryl. Yeah. Just a little shook up, that's all. Snake! This isn't over. It will never be over! <laughs> My heart! Fox! Die! <laughs> Fox die. If he's 
dead. That means... Snake, can you hear me? Colonel. Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? Hausman has been taken into custody. Early retirement. How? I was able to get into contact with the President, with Naomi's help. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. But what happened to the air raid and nuclear strike? Those orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. Hmm. I wonder about that. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Thanks. Thank you, Snake. I'm sorry I... I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Mailing saw the snowmobile on the satellite photos. We'll have a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. <laughs> I bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. The three of you officially died after your 4x4 sank into the ocean. Colonel, about Fox Eye. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. And me? Killed Liquid. I'll have Naomi talk to you about that. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. Then you know the truth. Yes. It's difficult. But I'll cope somehow. He said he'll always love you, Naomi. Frank sacrificed himself to save us all. He fought until his very last breath. Maybe... Maybe now he's finally found some peace. Naomi, what about Fox Die? Am I...? I reprogrammed it using the nanomachines. Your Fox Die has been placed in a state of indefinite dormancy. You'll be fine. Snake, I'm sorry. Naomi, I... thanks. Take care of yourself, Snake. You too. So, where to, Snake? David. My name is David. David? That's your real name? <laughs> I like Solid Snake much better. And I hope you like walking to Fox Island, kid. Okay, so where to, Dave? A new path. A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I'm sure of it. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those three are still alive. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes. DARPA Chief Anderson knew my real identity, but he's been disposed of. True. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the lesser clone. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. 
Once the public gets wind of the existence of Metal Gear Rex and the Genome Army, the Patriots will be exposed for what they really are. Everything is proceeding according to plan. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President. Yeah. 